to present the Impact Award for Excellence in Planning, please welcome to the stage the Managing Director of Wells Fargo Multifamily Capital and CHPC Board Member, Alan Wiener. Uh, the theme of today's lunch is transformation and renewal. And I can't think of someone whose life's work better personifies those two words than Stephen Ross and the projects undertaken by the related companies. Steve and Related have touched every corner of this city. They have undertaken some of the most complex development opportunities and achieved great success. And I am not just speaking of financial success. He is, after all, receiving the Impact Award for Excellence in Planning. While he and Related are most well known for transforming the Columbus Circle area into the gleaming Time Warner Center and for other upscale developments, you may not be aware of some of his other initiatives, those that he clearly holds dearer to his heart. Affordable housing laid the foundation of Related over 30 years ago when Steve and I met, and Steve's commitment has never wavered. The company currently owns over 13,000 units of affordable housing, including 1,700 units in Manhattan Plaza, right down the street on 42nd Street. When they purchased it several years ago, they extended the affordability for another 20 years. And while we have all been recently reading the headlines about the loss of affordable housing developments by new owners out to transform the tenancy, you will never ever read a story like that about Steve Ross. Related has never once taken a residential unit out of affordable housing program and continues to run a company dedicated to acquiring, rehabilitating, and preserving this most precious housing stock. Steve and Related have created economic engines in nearly all five boroughs, developments that create jobs, bring new amenities, and revitalize communities. Related also convinced many national retailers that the boroughs of New York City deserve the same shopping amenities and opportunities that residents in the suburbs enjoy. In East New York and Brooklyn, Related built Gateway Center, creating over 6,000 jobs and over $730 million in economic, economic activity. In the Bronx, the firm built the hub office and retail complex and the recently opened Bronx Terminal Market down the street from Yankee Stadium. This project transformed the old house's detention and the deteriorated markets into a bustling retail center filled with shopping amenities and created 5,000 jobs in the borough with the highest unemployment rate in the state. Steve had hoped to try and mirror the success with the creation of 2,000 jobs at the Kingsbridge Armory in the Bronx, but due to the short-sightedness of our political leadership, now that site is destined to lie idle. That's an editorial comment from me. <laughs> Stephen Related are now focused on the rehabilitation of 26 acres located on the west side of Manhattan known as the Hudson Yards. Their vision for the yards includes housing opportunities for families of all income levels, a cultural center and public school, and a series of great public spaces for all New Yorkers to enjoy. Steve, I know, as with everything else, you'll be successful in creating New York's next great neighborhood. Steve is passionate about a number of things. He is passionate about his wonderful family, he is, passion he is a passionate visionary, and is passionate about the company he has built. And as you have heard, he is passionate about the preservation of affordable housing. And by the way, most recently, he has become very passionate about the Miami Dolphins. For, for, and be gracious, I'm a Giants fan, but he's a friend. Um, <laughs> For all of these accomplishments and those yet to come, I am proud to present on behalf of CHPC the Impact Award for Excellence in Planning to a man who has generated professional leadership, personal generosity, and tremendous civic responsibility, Steve Ross. So here's the award. Thank you, Alan. Uh, I think after 32 years, those are the nicest things he's ever said. So I appreciate that. 
And I congratulate all the honorees and the great work that Gerilyn does with CHBC, and it's really an honor for me to be here today and to receive this recognition from such an esteemed organization. <clears throat> I'm extremely proud of the developments that Related <clears throat> has been able to realize through its public-private partnerships, and especially proud of the impact they have had on New York City's neighborhoods. We have created jobs, we've, re we've re-energized neighborhoods, and helped ensure that the city has housing opportunities for all income levels through preservation and new development. Our developments range across all asset classes. And while we might be best be known for the marquee condos and rentals or for the creation of Time Warner Center, some of the developments that have had the most impact on the city are those like Gateway Center in Brooklyn and the Bronx Terminal Market, where the economic impact and the revitalization of the area is tangible. These are challenging developments to realize, but the results speak for themselves. At Bronx Terminal Market, 5,000 jobs with 66% of all retail employees hailing from the Bronx. Shopping amenities for residents who previously went to the suburbs or New Jersey tax revenue for the city, and new parks and recreational <clears throat> activities on our waterfront. These type of results make it very difficult to comprehend how our elected officials, Borough President Diaz, and Union Labor Stuart Applebaum, in the economic climate, <clears throat> turned down similar opportunities at Kingbridge, in the borough that people have said had the highest unemployment in the state. But equally as important as job creation is affordable housing preservation. We cannot lose sight what a thriving city needs. I started this company as an affordable housing developer 38 years ago, and our commitment to preservation and development of affordable housing has never wavered. I am proud to say that we have never, ever converted a single unit of affordable housing in our portfolio to market rate housing. We must continue. <laughs> but what's important is we must continue to advocate for the preservation of this important and precious resource. And we must discourage by any means necessary those who seek to make a windfall by removing those units from the program that keep them accessible to our city's working families. The replacement cost for every unit is insurmountable. We cannot lose another single unit to be converted to market rate. And in these economic times, it is even more important that as we focus our efforts on preserving our, our affordable housing stock, the public and private <clears throat> sector and organizations like the Citizen Housing and Planning Council must continue to work together to grasp opportunities to shape the places where future generations will live, work, play, and grow, and to renew and revitalize our city. I thank you very much.